Do you know anything about this game? R I have actually never heard the, uh, of this game before. Okay. Um, have you ever played Ghosts and Goblins? Uh, actually, no, but I it, it does resemble that game. I was about to say. This is a. Why does the volume keep going up on this? Uh, this is a completely free game. Uh, I the developer has a weird name like Loco something or other, but um, the game is called M M Maldita Casti Castilla. Spelled C A S T I L A. Mm hmm. Um, so. Basically, yeah, it's inspired by Ghosts and Goblins. Loco Melito, thank you, Dectalon. Uh, it, I actually like it better than the original Ghosts and Goblins and Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, those games tended to be kind of like quarter munchers, in my opinion, you know? Like, yeah. they were sort of insanely hard. This is. It, this is like a memorization game, kind of like, you know, a lot of old side scrollers back in the day, and I'm doing terrible so far. But, um. So, once you know where everything is, it gets easier, but it is a lot of fun. I love the art style. And you might notice that there's scan lines in it. Yeah, I, I, I did notice that. Yeah, that's purposely programmed in. Um, I would really... i definitely recommend this. And unlike Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins, there's no bullshit where you have to, like, play the game, t like, twice in a row, more or less, you know? Do you know that yeah. trick with those games? Yeah. I don't fully understand it. It's something like there's some princess tier you gotta get or some bullshit, you know? I don't know. It's crazy. But how uh, your audio um, for me is like cutting out weirdly. Uh, I'm not sure what the, the issue is. You mean like the Skype call? Yeah, the Skype is being a little weird. It's not oh, like, uh, it's just, it's not like connection stuff. It's like just getting quiet uh, up and down, I guess. All right. It seems to have stopped actually, so hopefully oh, that's good. Good, okay. Anyway, um. So tell me, so, uh, you're, I'll, I'll, I'll let you plug it, even though we're not going to be talking Dark Souls in the stream, but you're doing a, what is it, a Soul Level 1 Dark Souls deal? Yeah, uh, just playing Dark Souls at Level 1, uh, without leveling up ever, so, that's, that's that. People have, you know, said it's really good, um, got some guests lined up, g -Up's gonna be in it, eventually. Cool. Uh -huh. How does it compare to what I'm doing right now? Um... I don't know. This it sort of seems similar. You just sort of have to know the tricks, I guess, and then you can do it pretty well. That sounds that sounds a little similar to Dark Souls, frankly. But um, yeah, this is the first bo well mini boss, I should say. You know, but you can see they start they start you off pretty light. You know. Yeah, there's um, not too much uh, going on at once. Looks like there's only four different weapon varieties. Um, I tend to prefer this because it's kind of like a wave beam. It doesn't have a uh, super fast rate of fire, but, um, you know, it, c it covers a lot, basically. So, that's 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 my strategy for this game, Maldita Castilla. But anyway, I really like the art style. I, I, I would suggest picking it up, by the way, if you have not ever heard of it or anything. It's, it's totally free, again. Music Spike Riser 87, you can buy... If I plug this game enough, do you think? Do you understand? <laughs> um, maybe, maybe one more time. This game is the video game equivalent of a million hand jobs. So, there you go. Um, oh, uh, so, unlike Castlevania and Ghosts and Goblins, you also don't get a committed jump, meaning that you can adjust in the air slightly. Kind of like La Moana, actually. Um, and if you have enough falling, uh, enough time to fall, then you can completely change direction, but it takes a bit. That's my, that's my strategy for this. What's your... I, I've heard in uh, Castlevania and the other games, like, once you jump, you're just jumping, and there's nothing yeah, you can do about it. Yeah, exactly right, yeah. There is knockback into, like, pits and uh, spikes in this. I got really lucky there. But, um, let me ask you this. If you had any old game you'd like somebody to, to remake in this sort of vein, what would it be? Any uh, game an for... old game I'd like someone to remake. Yeah, like, if this is Ghosts and Goblins, and another game they made Hydra, this guy made Hydra, is kind of like Gradius. What do you think? What would you like? Balls in your court. I'm starting the Kickstarter tonight, Richie's Rich. I'm just gonna call you Orb Rich. Orb 3D for the NES. Orb th I never even heard of that. <laughs> it was a terrible, terrible NES game. It was completely awful. It was like, had those old 8-bit style faux 3D graphics. It was, it was complete ass. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remake that in, in actual 3D. That'd be great. I just want to put forth this game's religious agenda right now, and then after that, um, we're gonna bring somebody in. Hey, 
Yeah. What the hey? So everybody text me, message me, Skype, you know the drill. Dectalon's... Let's try Dectalon again, what the heck. Let's see how he goes and comes out with the three of us. All right. Okay, I think it worked now. Excellent. We're on stage two, the road of the harpies with my boys. Let's see if I can remember. It's Quesada, Mendoza, and Don Diego. Or the Sounds other. about right, yeah. Very yeah, well, right. Nice. Yeah, so... Um, Dectalon, you're the guy who recommended this game to me, actually. Yeah. Oh, and, uh... Uh, I think I said something like, yeah, you, you could, since there are, like, secrets and stuff in the game, you could do a co-op of that, since, uh, Lamalana is kind of crazy in how wrong things can go. <laughs> and, uh, how it's not really possible to, like, explain things on the fly. But yeah. it seems like you found at least a secret in level one, which is the one that took me the longest to find. Oh, I watched Figgles Let's Play to find that one. Oh. <laughs> that one actually, I think, is a bit obtuse because there's not many breakable walls in the game, so... Yeah, that is true. Yeah, um, yeah. so the, the trick here is, unlike Goose and go go nah, Ghost Goblins slash Ghouls and Ghosts, whatever it is, um, rather than, like, beat the game, you know, twice or whatever, this game has you find five secret, what is it, Mora's Tears, I believe? Yes. Whoops. Oh, okay, to get so like the true ending or something? Yeah, well, yeah, there's like a, I think there's like a secret final sixth stage, which I watched a little of, but haven't played at all. Yeah, it's, uh... Like, yeah. Uh, when you play through, I think it's, uh, this guy, Lok Malito, is an excellent designer. Yes. Yeah. He, he has figured out a way to make his game so that you could theoretically get through them on one try, mm -hmm. but he knows you're not gonna. Right. And um, it, when you play through this game the first time, you get to level 5 and you, like, you barely beat level 5. Right. But, but when you're starting again, you're much better at the game. And now that if you discover where the tears are, you will be good enough that level 6 won't be like overwhelmingly hard. Ah, shit. I like, to, I like to keep the fairy, personally, like for the second kind of thing, but I accidentally picked up the, the boots. Yeah. But the, the fairy is much more common, so you'll get it back. Yeah, I think Do those let one... you double jump or something? No, they just make your jump a little higher, I think, right? You, you would know best, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's just a little higher. I'm going to go ahead and assume that uh, if you're trying to speedrun the game, I'm sure there's something you could do with having the uh, the high jump boots and skip some stuff, probably, but I've never tried that. The next section is way too hard with yeah. the boots on. <laughs> Agreed, which is why I'm hoping I get it replaced soon. Another thing, by the way, those windmill blades can actually hurt you, which I think is a, a very neat obstacle. I could go for a little more of a call out that they're damaging, but other than but that's like a but actually when you hit them you can tell, so it's not a big deal. And they also occur occur. They they are an obstacle in uh, the Genesis Ghost and Goblins game, so it's a bit of a callback also. You mean ghouls and ghosts? Yeah. I don't remember that at all. That's interesting. Uh, they're in level two too, actually. Oh, with the don't bounce. Fire, but. Oh, the bouncing uh, turtle guys, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's toward the beginning of the level, if I remember. Yeah. Gotcha. I didn't know if I don't know if you knew this, but like in Spanish, night times or whatever, propeller platforms were like a huge fucking thing. <laughs> they're actually that was what that is what a, a Castilla really is. I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. These, uh, these hover things are actually the precursor to the uh, the ones in MGS3. More or less, yeah. Exactly, yeah. This is actually a retelling of Snake Eater. Is the thing. <laughs> this guy's actually big boss. More or less. Well, he's got the facial hair for it. This is, by the way, my favorite boss in the game, I think, or that I've seen so far. And I even go I think it's just a great boss all in all. I'll even not kill him right away just to show people what he does. He has a pretty standard attack that's kind of like tracking whirlwinds. It's sort of, you know... Combined with the moving platforms is pretty good. This is kind of a great attack, the lightning. Yeah. All, yeah, all in all, it's intense, but it's manageable, you know? I just, it, I'm a big fan of it, personally. Good job, Loco, what was his name again? Malito. Loco Malito. What a, what a dude. I wish I could make games like that. Well, he seemed to have had quite a bit of practice and uh, played a lot of arcade games. This game has become my new bus game, so I stopped playing Spelunky, and 
I usually play it with a keyboard, but, you know. Now I'm playing <laughs> with the controller. They're asking if you're sponsored by the game, and I can say that he's not, because uh, the game is completely free, and all of Locomolita's games are free. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have really any uh, sponsor Incent money. Incentive. <laughs> Yeah, his other game is, what is it, Hydera, which is H-Y-D-O-R-A-H. Yeah. Oh. I love that game, too. I only played a little of that. I should download that. It's, it's also very good. And it, it works on the same principle. Yeah, it's, but... uh, it's Gradius, more or less. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gradius. Uh, there is actually sort of a, a walk of, uh, I don't know, the, the opposite of a walk of shame, I guess. <laughs> okay. I am, a walk, I'm... a walk of triumph for pride. Yeah. A jog of pride. A jog of pride. Yeah, sure. Um, it's um, when you get the good ending, you walk past a bunch of ships from classic uh, uh, space shooter games. Oh, that's pretty cool. And it 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 uh, shows the ship from Gradius, from uh, Darius, from R Type. Uh, I think is. Samus Aran is in there for some reason. <laughs> If there's no Galaga ship, I'm not buying it. I think Galaga is actually the first one. On oh, the... is, it, is it actually two Galaga ships put together and you can fire twice? <laughs> That's in part two. <laughs> right. That's, we got to save it for the next game. Right? Uh, but uh, yeah, I think Galaga is the first one. Um, I think he actually made a Galaga-like game. How many, game how many games does this fucking dude have? I don't know why I'm cursing. Played quite a few. I haven't played all of them, but he uh, he has uh, stated that he, he loves games that you can complete in like 20-30 uh, minutes if you're really really good at them. Hmm. And that's what he's aiming for most of the time when he makes games. And also that he loves that about old arcade games, and so most of his games are inspired by a bunch of different arcade games. Uh, I like that. Um, how am I... Dexalon, how am I doing at this game comparative to, say, like... I don't know. How am I doing at this game comparatively? Well, you're not dying. Barely getting hit, so I would say you're doing well, except that you're using the uh, ball and chain. What's wrong with the ball and chain? It, the range and damage is not really as good as with most of the other weapons. Uh, I usually use the uh, the, uh, the scythe, sickle, but, yeah. But I know that the axe is actually the best weapon overall. You can beat the game the fastest by using the axe throughout. Really? Yeah. So the axe, um, just because I don't want to pick it up because I hate it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hated it at first too, but uh, it it goes forward with a slight, a uh, very slight upward arc, you know. Yeah. Not like Castlevania, which is a vertical attack, this is a horizontal one, but, um... Yeah, and not like the old, uh, well, the, uh, standard, uh, I think it's, uh, is it the Genesis? I just, yeah, it's, I, I think it's the, the axe in the Genesis game. Yeah. You couldn't hit things that were, uh... Hold on, I just want to interrupt, right to I just want to interrupt you for one second. Do you ever notice the detail that the bed actually bounces a little? You're gonna break it. Yes. That. <laughs> That's just very rude. Freaky, freaky. On your way back, you could. There's a uh, yeah. There's an obstacle. There's an obstacle they add on the way back that you can kind of trivialize with the secret invisibility potion, invincibility yeah. potion. Excuse me. I found that one all by myself though. Hey. It I does look gold star. You can you can shoot the statue in the face too and also get it. I didn't actually know you could kneel by it. Shit. This part kind right. of annoys me a little. Uh, not, a, yeah. not. I don't think it's bad, but it's like a little tricky to manage. You know, but uh, the ball and this is only the really the only section in the game where the ball and chain is the best, just because uh, uh, you can shoot through and get the archers and um, uh, avoid damage here. I'm also gonna say uh, the soul boss and Mendoza uh, are pretty good with the ball and chain. Mendoza especially because you can get rid of his like defensive attack, kind of, or bypass it with the ball and chain. You can but, actually bypass it even easier with the axe. Well. Forget it then. Further away. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for trying to tell Mr. Gamefax Maldita to whatever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How many times have you played this game? I played it quite a few times. 
at least until I get the the uh, speedrun bonus. <laughs> those parrots with the, the the people heads remind me of those things from um, Twilight Princess. <laughs> harpies. <laughs> I think they're I think they're harpies, honestly. I think that is the technical name. Yes. Yeah. Um. I feel like harpies in real Greek mythology are something different, but video games kind of morph them into something. But maybe I'm wrong there. Or maybe they... that applies to most things taken from various mythologies. Right. I think if they remain the same, then every video game would be uh, exceedingly fucked up. <laughs> I'm actually... I have my chat window in the background, so I don't know if I'm missing anything or if anything has gone terribly wrong from a technical level and no one's seeing anything. No, but... it's working, yeah. Cool. I'm checking the sound now and then. There is something wrong with my... Time. They are. Why are they killing them? Poor things. Well, you know. They just want to dance. They're undead. This is basically... People say La Moana is the 2D Dark Souls, but this is really it. Let's be honest <laughs> here. No, um... Oh, I promised I wouldn't talk about that game. You know what? The, <laughs> nice so the, try. the worst was on Retsu Talk, because we've had now, like, two talking about Dark Souls, as we had Pat from Two Best Friends play on. First fucking thing he brings up is Dark Souls. <laughs> I know, like, somebody's a guest, you don't want to be, like, a total dick to them or anything. You're like, no, we're not talking about that, so... We had a nice 20 this minutes. This topic has been vetoed. Shut up. <laughs> More or less, but... Alright, this is the part where I died last night. Um... Because... The... The Moai heads, and I, I, I do I do think this is a nice little, uh... I mean, I know they're not really Moai heads, but they remind me of Gradius because they have the rings, you know? Oh, they're definitely Moai heads. I mean, they don't exactly look like them, but... Yeah. They're, they are supposed to be, yes. So, Rich, I'll explain the problem here. Okay. Because I know you were, of all of us, were the most interested in that shit. Um, you kind of stick to ropes. You don't have to, like, press up or anything, you know? Which can kind of mess up if you're, like... Not mess you up, but if you're, like, trying to jump, you know, sometimes a rope gets in the way and you didn't expect it to. Shit. Um, so, like that, so... I don't know, it's a little... It takes a little getting used to, and unfortunately it's kind of a scenario where you have a lot of projectiles coming towards you, so I don't know. What do you Someone think? Someone remarked, too, in the, the chat that um, the windmills are the reference to this level's boss. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Fuck! Do you want Do you want me to tell you how to get through this section without even having to attack? Just run straight through? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. If you jump from the chain so that you land like you're below the platform, and you land on the platform like at the peak of your jump, you yeah. can just keep running and the rings won't catch up with you. Ah, oh, interesting. But forget that. <laughs> Well, there goes his knees, said someone in the chat when he fell down. That's no, okay, I'm a knight. I don't know what that Knights means. Knights don't need knees. We, we get him, it's hard for kneeling so much. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. I, I deserve that death, frankly. But, that's okay. Is that it, then? What do you mean? Are you, uh, oh, yeah. Bringing in other guests, or? Um, yeah, alright, what the hell. All right, let's get rid. Let's get rid of this Richie's guy. Oh shit! I just hung up on him. <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's, that's too fast. Man. That's too fast. Do you have anything you want to say before you go, Rich? Um, uh, I don't know. I guess you know. Thanks for having me. The game looks pretty fun. I might download it sometime. But anyway, download it right uh, now. Well, I'm working on a video actually, so oh, I'm not gonna do that. Don't download it right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. Okay. Goodbye. All right. We're gonna keep Dectal on and bring in somebody else. Josh. Right. Okay, Josh, come on in. Someday Josh will come in. Good Meanwhile, evening. evening, how are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. And yourself? Not too bad, I'm just playing a fun little video game and before I have to get ready for dinner and all that fun stuff. Fair enough. Yeah. I, uh, I haven't seen this game just yet, but uh, it's pretty interesting so far, I must say. It's a fun little, like, you know, fuck around kind of game, you know what I mean? Hmm. Certainly looks like it, anyway. Quite but, enjoyed um, Ghosts and, Ghost and Goblins back in the day, so. I did too. Um, I 
nowadays, I don't know, like, I really, I really kind of can't forgive it for the whole play it twice type of deal, but, you know, all in all, at the end of the day, it was still a fun game, you know? Yeah, indeed. Do you agree, Deck well, to one, or? Sorry. No, it's okay, no, don't be sorry. It's no, okay. I never, I, never did, I never did play it twice. I only played it the first time. I was just like, nah, I can't, can't quite go for it the second time, but... I'm just gonna... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I did. I uh, I did beat it. Uh, it actually is three times in oh. uh, the original game for oh. some reason. God, that's awful. Or, well, you can get to the final boss on your seven, uh, on your second time through, but uh, it still tells you to beat the game one more time, and it gets even harder on that time through. But you get a different message at the end. But uh, it's hard to beat the strong wells through you. <laughs> For the second time through, but I don't actually like that game. It's mm -hmm. too like it, it feels inexact. I guess it's like uh, you can very easily fall through the floor if you're too close to an edge. Yeah, it's too easy to pick up weapons you don't want. Like yeah. you can uh, pick them up from too far away. The boss design is kind of shitty because they're basically timed. Like, if you can't deal enough damage to the dragons, for example, then you can't jump over them. So, you're just gonna take a hit if you take too long. Let me let me ask you both a question. Why is this library on fire, and why is Don Quixote the boss? Or trees? It's on fire because he's crazy, and uh, it, he's crazy, so he is the boss. I see. So, I'm, I'm showing off the axe, uh, the only issue I kind of have with it is it's a little hard to hit stuff in front of you, although I will say this boss it seems kind of made for, in a way, you know? Yeah, well, that's the thing though, you'll find that most bosses are made for the axe after what? you've uh, tried a few times. But what about like stuff right in front of you? You duck, and you keep ah. your things in front of you. You deal with it. That's true. I thought I could. I thought I was safe, actually. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Oh yeah. <laughs> that never happened to me before. Shit. No. That's uh, another uh, reason to uh, skip past the Y heads. And uh... there we go. Two seconds left. One second left. What? Oh come on. <laughs> that's that's horrible. <laughs> That was completely ridiculous, but <laughs> at least we get to see the boss not as trivialized this time around. I get to hack at his uh, ankles several hundred times. Chat, you're all there. That was bullshit, wasn't it? <laughs> I had him. Oh, you took too long. I think this is actually the, um, the only level where time becomes the problem. Yeah, usually I never worry about time, unless I'm exploring like the next level. Like yeah. the first time before I knew where things were, you know. But yeah, I watched I watched Figgle stuff because I couldn't find the first and last tiers of the game, more or less. The last one is also pretty hard to find. Yeah. Uh, I when he's using the yeah, <laughs> when he's using the pages, you really want to uh, stand up higher. Yeah, I. I'm like, uh, I'm playing badly right now, but, but hopefully this is the last, uh, the last, like, round with him or whatever. Oh, I died, technically, so somebody's gotta go, but, well... That's me, then, I mm -hmm. think. That is uh, you. I've, I've been here through, uh, two people now, so, uh... Alright. Good luck, sir, and, uh... Anything you wanna plug before you go? Not really. I'll think of something later. No? Alright. But, uh, yeah, good luck. Thanks. Take easy. Right. See you. All right, Josh. It's you and me, and now uh, who got here? Lagaman or Garrett? Let me start with Garrett. I'll go with Lagaman next. Let's see how Chat's doing too while we're here. Well, it hasn't caught fire yet, so I suppose that's a good sign. Hey. Sorry, I, I looked away. Is uh, is Garrett in the call? No. Hello? Hey, Garrett, how are you? Hello, Slow Beef. How's it going? Very well, yourself? I'm excellent. Cool. So, um, 
How are you doing? Are you enjoying M M Maldita Castilla? I can't pronounce it for the life of me. I'm enjoying trying to say it. <laughs> what yeah, do you? I've never heard of this game before. Yeah, uh, Dectalon, like I said, pointed it out. I like it a lot. I would definitely recommend. It's just like a fun little side scroller, you know. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a. As far as a stretch as this is, it kind of reminds me of like a Kirby game, just with like all the little treasure chests going around. <laughs> It's a little. What Kirby games you've been playing? <laughs> There's have a. Played... Have you ever played Kirby in the Amazing Mirror? <laughs> Is that the one with the decapitated knight? <laughs> That's the first boss. <laughs> or, um... uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I've been a while since I played it. But it's like the most non-linear game I've ever played, and it's a Kirby game. Huh. Wait, if I remember, I think there was a secret here that I. Kirby games have always been quite hardcore. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, totally. And like looking forward to the 3DS one. I um oh I do have a 3DS. I haven't played it in a long time though. What have I missed in the world of 3DS? What's like the new hot game? Uh I hear a link between worlds is oh, uh, yeah. one of the best games on the 3DS. And one of the best games of Nintendo in the year. Last year. Maybe I have to get that. Cause I do have I do have my 3DS, I just and again, I, I don't know. It's, uh, how, how long is it? Uh, like how many gameplay hours? Yeah, more or less. Uh, I hear it's actually shorter than usual, but that's what people are saying is good, because it's like, it gets rid of a lot of the annoying, like, fetch quest type of things. Mm -hmm. So it's like more just, like, compact, like, a lot of puzzles and good dungeon gameplay. I haven't played it yet, so, but I've just, you know, I've, I've played all the, like, major console Zelda games, but this one, I'm really behind on like the hand. This is the thing. I've heard, I've it heard it's quite open as well because of the um, ah! what's the system called again. The um, hiring system, I think it is. It kind of opens up the game a lot earlier on, so that you can explore any dungeon in any um, yeah. order you like. Yeah, the Zelda's trying to go in the direction of like non-linear storyline now. That's what I heard was planned for the the Wii U one. Mm -hmm. Which I think is going to be announced in E3, and but yeah, this one got started. It has like like you can get dungeon items to use for whatever dungeon you want to go in, and I don't really know how it works exactly. So, hmm. I um I kind of like the whole non-linear thing, you know, lately. Um, so I could I could go for that with Zelda definitely, you know. I think that'd be really cool. Cause Zelda usually like it is pretty much like the dungeons are ordered and you have to do it in a certain way and stuff. And yeah, it's like part of the story. Right. Wait, this, is there a story in Zelda ever? Or... I guess. Oh yeah, that's that's like Nintendo's the one game like franchise that people look to at Nintendo that actually does have really Ooh. good stories. Mm -hmm. Like Skyward Sword actually had one of the the best Zelda stories I've seen. You know, I have that and Twilight Princess, and I've never played either. Not for any reason, just like it's one of those things I never got around to. Yeah, didn't you say you were going to do like one of the things you did, like what you did with the Metroid Prime? Oh, uh, yeah. Series? I should do yeah, that. Yeah, I remember shouldn't you mentioning I? that on a, one of the podcasts in the summer. I think it was the summer. I have a million things. I think Police Knots is my next big project, just to get that kind of out of the way. All right. Oh, I have to warn you guys, there's nudity on this stream with mermaids and shit, so. Oh, no. Yeah. They're going to get the Hypercam logo. <laughs> I... All right, this boss I'm not too great at, sadly, but he's not hard or anything. But I don't know. It's one of Michael Bay's Ninja Turtles. Basically, yeah. Oh yeah, what's up with that? That's like, that's why I always fuck up the jump. When's that? When's that crap coming out? That crap I'm not gonna watch. I have no idea. I haven't been following it. All I know is that a lot of my friends have been complaining about Megan Fox. <laughs> that's it. Speaking of that's it, I'm afraid uh, I let you have two lives, uh, Josh, so... Oh, okay. Hold Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> but is there anything else you wanted to say before we go? Um, nah, not really. But uh, thanks for having me, I suppose. No problem. Thanks for joining me. Okay, no oh, problem. did I drop? You did. Uh, oh. But you're back now, which is fine because we're saying goodbye to Josh. Your okay. new, aka Bye, your new Josh. friend. See you. Man, you and you and Josh really got along, Garrett. I think I you, guess so. I think you guys are gonna be like the new like Laurel and Hardy or whatever, you know. I could see gotta, it, Josh and Garrett, totally. I got a co-op going, yeah. There you go. Let's bring in High Wang. 
while I fight this boss. Well, I'll give you a couple of lives, you know, don't worry about that so much. But, um... Yeah, I forgot for a second that the stream's not connected to the Skype call, so yeah, I have to refresh the stream because it went to black. I have really yeah. shoddy Wi-Fi in here, so that's probably why I dropped, but... I'm sorry, dude. It's like we're good now. Hi, Wang, how are you? All right, good to, good talking to you, Hi Wang. Um, <laughs> Holy crap, I'm a goddamn idiot when it comes to Skype. <laughs> I was like freaking out for a whole minute trying to figure out how to accept this call. It's okay, don't worry about it. You're not you're not missing anything. It's just me playing a fucking video game and talking to people. Oh man, I streamed this game back in the day. Like, uh, but for some odd reason, I was getting really bad frame problems Shit. when trying to stream this game specifically. That's interesting. I am. Um, I'm doing OBS, but I'm doing window capture because game capture just didn't work for me. If anyone wants to talk about hardcore yeah. technical details while we fight this turtle, damn it, I'm having a lot of trouble with Taraska. Yeah, this here. boss is pretty tricky just because his um, bounce shot is somewhat random. And the your jump, like the whole lack of adjustment for the jump, makes it a little yeah tough to deal with, more or less. <laughs> like you got a good weapon first, just comes down to memorizing when the uh, jump shot comes in. I think it's like the first wave is third shot, second wave is second shot, the third wave is first shot when the uh, high bounce comes in. Oh, there's a yep. pattern to it. Yeah, I'm just barely now noticing it. Gotcha. Let me just. By the way, I've been like trying to, I've been waiting to jump on this call just because, just to say that if you like Ghost and Goblin style games, um, there's one on Steam called Volgar the Viking. I believe Psyche and Ragni were heavily into it. It's a lot similar to this game. Oh yeah, actually, I've heard of that, Volgar the Viking. I like it a lot. Really, it's really damn good. So if you want to like drop eight bucks or wait for a sale, I highly recommend that game too. Nice. Aw, bye turtle. Oh, and I forgot, we're not even done with this stage, by the way. Yeah, that's a mid-boss. Yeah. Go figure. I'm figuring. Now, for all of you in the chat, um, we've just met a new friend. I think his name is Boo, right? B-U? Or Buh? Yeah, it's Boo. Yeah. Or Buh. We can go Buh. Oh, god damn it. This is like... Yeah. This is, uh... a, this is a dark level. This is like fucking La Mulana's dark level, but worse, just because there's more, like, platforming obstacles. Yeah. Also, sometimes you die and it doesn't have to do anything. Hey, Garrett? Oh, yeah, now I'm here. I'm afraid your time is up. All right. Well, it was fun working with you. Thank you, too. Anything uh, anything you want to say before we call it a night? A day? Have a good one. You, too. Take easy, Garrett. All right. Or the spray. Thanks. Well, I do, too, someday. All right. That's enough of Garrett. Now let's... Br <laughs> that sounded mean. Whatever. Now let's go in. Oh, my good friend PA Master. I keep meaning to do shit with him. This guy is going to have an awesome voice, Hi Wang. Don't feel too bad, okay? Yeah, I've seen him in the forums, so I'm, like, not surprised. You're not surprised because he has a good voice if he's in the forums? Yeah, see, I've, I, like, popped in a street in the stream, one of his streams once, and it, he seemed like a cool guy. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Hey, yeah. how's it going? Doing very well. My friend. Uh, yeah, I can see, you know, jumping into water, <laughs> hey, bird, imp, piece of shit. What I was... is that? What is like, this? What hellish escape did that thing come from? I mean, you have you have oh. some sort of horrors. Like, you've got, uh, you know, undead knights, you got mermaids, you got water beasts, and did you? Oh yeah, your light could go out. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, the light could go out. If your buddy gets hit, your light goes out for like a good minute. Well, like 10 seconds. That seemed way shorter than a minute, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, and these, those uh, rock guys can blow it out, and you can see that this is probably not a section where you want that to happen, but... I mean, I always have trouble with the uh, walk back with this segment. Is there any explanation as to what these spike things are, or is it just, here are some obligatory floating devices? It's video game logic. <sighs> ah, fuck. I can I never... I don't even think that counts as logic, it's just there. <laughs> They're, well, it, you know sea urchins? These are air ones. Air urchins. <laughs> it's yes. like, I think it's the, like the uh, buzzsaw things that Super Meat Boy established. Now that they've done it, everybody has to have platformers with buzzsaws <laughs> on the walls. But, okay, so we have the rare and endangered air urchin. You know what, guys, hold on one second, let me just mute my mic.
Uh, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm also looking at chat. Yes, Legem, I'm doing the Lost Kingdom selfie. I, uh, I got the 10 minute warning, I'm afraid. Aid? Oh, oh, really? Look at that. That was ridiculous. Uh, it hasn't popped up yet. <laughs> right in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that was total. Okay. Nonsense. I'm sorry. Oh, of dark... all the places, really, but. Oh, dark good... levels. Yeah. I had to continue too, which pisses me off, but it doesn't matter because I don't have time to finish the game. But maybe we can see a little level six if I hurry. Um, I must have missed something. Ten minute warning? Absolutely. Yeah, dinner. Obviously. Oh, exactly. Isn't it like four PM down there? Technically, I you know, I'm pretty sure that he's actually lying to us. Everybody knows that Slow Beef is an internet entity that exists only to make LPs and provide commentary. I'm really just kinda of put it. <laughs> I'm really an advanced AI. I hired an actor. <laughs> is that that? I'm trying to remember what a movie did that where, like, the entire time you thought it was some dude, but it was actually, like, a fake person or something. Fast beef is when he gets overclocked. <laughs> <laughs> My shit. This is, like, the world's easiest enemy, but I got hit on him because I'm... What is this? It's, uh, it's Bigfoot. It's... Or a Yeti, yeah, sure. Well, it's That's... got one eye, it's, a, but... it's a Cyclops Bigfoot Yeti? It's all, it's all of those things, basically. It's the missing Got it, link. perfect. And did it just explode, or...? Yes. Everything exploded. Okay. Like, blood in this game. Well, what crazy. was this game called? M Maldita Castilla? Yep, Maldita... Yeah, Maldita Castilla. <laughs> ah, shit. Maldita Castilla. And oh. those little troll guys, when you hit them, you see how their clubs go flying? No, no, I don't. Oh, uh... Oh, yeah, revenge bullets in this game. Yeah. You're shitting me. No, and if they hit the torch guy, it goes out for a little. Yeah, like I remember, that. uh... I just... Uh, like, I did a huge stream project for Odin Sphere, oh, yeah, like, a month ago, and there was a bunch of enemies that did that same thing. It's, like, the worst thing ever. <laughs> okay, so this, uh, this new weapon seems... This is uh... my... This is my favorite, but now we've got a new boss. And so, oh. and my torch guy, who is now <laughs> you evil... You fell into his trap. Yeah. When He's cutting the trap of oh, a wait. drop. Wait, the light guy was your... He's the boss? He's, unfortunately... The first of two, technically three bosses. I like to think that these like patches. Is the crystal wall the next boss? No, this boss is starts out a little disappointing, and I won't say it gets terribly better. It's a good, it's a, it's an alright fight, like you know, but it's technically an enemy we've seen before just now spawning in different locations. Yeah, I've seen okay. a bunch of people have trouble with this boss. It's really weird. Um, can I just say this text is a little bit weird? Originally, I thought that said Ancients Souls before I realized it was just a really weird T. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. I like the Steam's look a lot. Like they handle it really well. Yeah. I'm impressed. I actually thought this was some sort of like new Ghosts and Goblins game I didn't know about until somebody said this is like Ghosts and Goblins. I'm just like, it, 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 right? It's not? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. This Little did you know that they continue the making Goblin. Genesis games until two, in 2014. Actually, this is like ah! 2011, isn't it? After he showed up in Marvel yeah. vs. Capcom, I kind of you know just. Gave up on ever. Oh well. That's okay. Bye -bye. No, 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 no. It's fine. We're. Rip this is gonna be the last. Uh, I have to get out of here soon. I have to be done soon. So, you guys. Man, this are... is gonna suck for you because this is terrible with the dagger. Hey, you just gotta have precise aiming and incredible. Have you skill. seen this game? Okay. Yes, of course. Uh, see, what you have to do is you have to become ah. one with the ancient souls. You have to understand their deep and very over. Well, no, you have to kill yourself a while ago. No. There we are. Oh, yeah. So. Otherwise, you're just a soul. Ancient souls, they're a bit harder to come by. So this, this, the, the Guardian Soul boss, actually, he really isn't so, so bad. He's only got one kind of attack, but it's just a very tricky attack to avoid because it's like a yes, wait. Yes, I can see how the slow moving. It's a wave board. shot. Would be difficult. It's a no. It's it's a wave attack, but the problem is the second one. It actually aims for where you are. So the oh, idea is, it, yeah, yeah, like it's not just down, and it's not it, like, it'll go diagonally and stuff. And it takes like right. a lot of getting used to in that sense. I think All right. Yeah. No. I originally thought find them. Yeah, you originally think it's just like a silly downward wave beam that's like completely trivial to deal with, and then it's I was like... thinking it was just at 93 angles, like he's if he's off to the side, it fires to the side. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. It's actually it'll go diagonal on you. <laughs> but anyway, he's gone, so that's not too bad. Well, he's not gone on my screen. Spoilers. Oh, I'm it sorry. It takes a few sorry. seconds. There he goes. All right. All right. There we, there we go. Bye, ancient soul. So wait, what? Um, sorry. Going back just a fair bit, in case I missed it. Um, <laughs> 
What was the point of the lady in the lake? Crap, no, I didn't mute my it's mic just, today. It's just a secret. It's Is like, there any point to the secrets, or it's just, hey, you found a thing? I think it's something like an achievement, more oh, or less. Oh, we've got an interlude! Yeah. Oh yeah, this thing. Fabulous. This is, this is silly. Oh, it's a bonus stage. Yeah, okay, totally. Okay, hold on, let me actually turn up my sound for this one. Oh yeah, definitely. The dancing crickets. I... There we go. Got, I got a one-up, that's all I needed. Wh are... Are you... <laughs> Uh, you sound you sound so flabbergasted by that. I have no idea what to think of that. It's just yeah, it's just a free one-up stage. Don't worry about it. Yeah, basically. Uh, all right, all right. We'll just we'll roll with it. Fine. Yeah, no, that happened. <laughs> oh man, I hope you get to crickets. I hope you get to the boss here. This is yeah, crickets and flutes. This stage is fucked. Yeah, this stage is. This is um, if you don't have all of the uh, Mora's tears, this is technically the final stage. Yeah. And I have four out of the five, and unfortunately, I do not have uh, time to finish the game. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that later tonight. There you go. The last stage. So, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, it's just um, you went straight from what appeared to be a deep cave into like this forest. So I'm assuming there's a goal. Like there's somewhere you're trying to reach. Yep. Uh, um, was it this this explained at the beginning of the game, or is it just go yeah, adventuring and eventually you'll find a. Okay. You and your band of three other knights are basically trying to, to kill the demons of the, the realm or the land or whatever, you know? It's an inquisition. More or less. And, um, you've been commissioned by the king, you know, so... Yeah, no. This Wait, we're not like... the king? We're, we're not the king, no. Knight. We're just, we're, um, Don Ramira, I believe his name is. This dude had a name? Yep. <laughs> wow. We, uh... We, we, yeah, I we just were... called him Spanish Arthur. <laughs> Arturo, I believe, is what you were going for there. Okay, but... I'll take that. Oh, I think I want the bottom one, if I remember. Um, cause oh, fuck, I don't remember this. I think... Hey, Dectalon, if you're in the call, did I miss... Or do I have to go back for the it's thing? Cur... He's not here. Uh... He might be in the text. Hold on, I'll check the chat. No, he's saying oops. Dectalon is saying oops. oops. Well, oops. I didn't have time to finish the game anyway, so... Okay, that's all right. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think the path mattered in this one. I think it's the next one where it mattered. Oh well. Oh, it... We'll do it next time. Hmm. Um, yeah, that that way I, I can guess. I, I guess I can technically say that I showed off the bad ending. If I can, I don't even know if I have time to finish uh, the boss here. But anyway, we got some. We got some more mermaids, you know, which is fine because they never heard us before. I think I go mermaids up. In a forest? What? Yeah, I think I go was... up. Well, technically, it's a forest river. Um, yeah, you go up here because I remember uh, during the big race thing, Psyche and Ragni would always jump up there. You, okay, uh... apparently the tier was down. Oh. Uh, but I had I I head up here in the cave, I think. And Possibly. then yeah, and then down. I head down when I go through here, I believe. Then yeah. Yeah, because I headed, I headed, I headed. Yeah, no, I headed up before, so. So wait, the penultimate stage is the Lost Woods? Right? It's weird. Or really the ultimate, unless you know the secret, which I fucked unless up Unless you get to all the secret stages. So the final stage, the greatest challenge you have in this game is figuring out how to work the goddamn level. Yeah. yeah it's a great way to hide the ultimate evil, right? Like, instead of... That makes way too much sense to possibly be an actual explanation. Well, it's better than Ganondorf, who sits on his high throne and waiting to get stabbed in the face. <laughs> I'm just going to hide in my... I'm just going to hide in my conspicuous castle right over here that you can easily walk yeah, to if you manage to drink, construct you know. a bridge. You know, just... that that's how it goes. You make a bridge of rainbows, you cross over to the place and... Wait, you were talking about how you haven't played Legend of... You, you've at least done Ocarina of Time, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Rainbows. Are we talking about Norse mythology? What? Oh, it's like a thing in like. Oh, all rainbow that. bridges. Yeah, no. Uh, no, I was talking about the one you use uh, at the end of Ocarina of Time. You get sages together, and suddenly they use their magic sage power to. Oh yeah. Make a bridge. That's right. That's I... the that's the culmination of their activities. They disable a barrier and make a bridge, and then it's up to your hero, whether it be Link or whatever you've named him, to uh, go Fine. wreck Ganondorf, thief. <laughs> I've... I always, like ever since uh, Link's Awakening, I always call him Thief. Yeah, pretty much. 
I just, I, I feel like I want to be able to steal from the shops if I'm named Thief. It would have been a good piece of lore for the Legend of Zelda series, but the developers just kind of shit all over that. <laughs> I never really Man, get I need to replay play. Ocarina. This is like completely lost on me. <laughs> hey, uh, there's, there's nothing. Is the, sorry, am I just, hey, Dectalon or anybody else in chat, is the tier here in this room? I just want to know for next time. Anybody? Um, it makes it, it does like a little damage thing if you do the, if it's the uh, tier, so if you just like hit every tree in the forest, yeah. you'll it is not it. here. Yeah. That's a shame. Quote three different people in the chat, no, it's not here. <laughs> Alright, I'm afraid, uh, that is pretty much our time, which is a Rip. shame, because I at least wanted oh. to see the next boss, but, uh... I'll do one more life, which is going to turn into eight more, knowing me, but, um... <laughs> Just one more. <laughs> Just, you know, three hours later, Slow Beef! Uh, yeah. People call you by your username in real life for some reason. Slow Beef, the food is cold! Exactly. Are My... you I have to get past this stage! <laughs> I have to kill woods. Satan! Now, this is, this is one of those things, too, where we're, like, going out to dinner, so it's like, you know... We have to, you know, get dressed up, get all... Dolled and prettied up, you know how it goes. That makes I know, sense. I too really need to get dressed up when I head to McDonald's for the night. Exactly. Just... <laughs> hey man, if you wanna you wanna crack wise, you don't got you don't gotta be in this street no I'm just kidding. But um <laughs> I'm gonna say No uh Oh dear. Fine, fine, I can see the point. Going to Applebee's is important. It is, yes. Yeah. No. I'm not gonna eat a blooming onion onion anything less than a tuxedo. Orlando Bloomin' Onions. <laughs> up, up in the cave, I think? Up in the cave, down in the next Oh, thing. god damn it. That's right, okay, so... Alright, let's, oh. uh... What's the last weapon I want? Well, let's try the axe, because Dectalon keeps telling me how great the fucking axe is. You have inspired need for Blooming Onion in the chat. <laughs> oh, no. Man, I'm trying to... I'm wondering if I should recommend another game, because it's kind of like an old NES game, but it's not in the vein of Ghosts and Goblins. Mm, which one? Or uh, it's a new game that came out on Steam called Oniken. It's basically more like a Shatterhand and Ninja Gaiden. Gotcha. Well, time to pull up a gameplay video. What's it called I again? Like, Oniken? Yeah, Oni? I, I did a, uh, I did like a stream video for it for uh, Pizza Times. Crazy and Dead. there's the boss. It's oh, no. It's our, it's our friend Mendoza the knight. Oh, God. right, the guy that I met. Yeah. Since I've been watching this entire time. He was at the very beginning. I'm a zombie! I don't know why. Zombie Mendoza, got it. There's I a know, he just uh, had Man, the uh, axe trivializes this fight, holy shit. Yeah, but unfortunately I only had one health left, so... Mendoza, uh, oh, you remember all those more. days when we used to play catch as children? <laughs> this is nothing like that. Alright. my axe! This would be, I think, a good point to end on anyway, if I die this time, because then we could continue tonight, perhaps. Oh yeah, there's also a thing that happens because this is your third continue. Oh, oh. yeah, er, uh, yes, that's right. Um... That's yeah, I, I know video games. You're right. Uh, so, you get, I believe, actually four credits, technically, when you're playing this game, like, you know? Dollar. Yeah, and then you, you have to trade your soul for more credits, more or less. That's a really great way to, like, to, uh... Like de incentivize just, you know, reinforcing the stage. Yeah. You once know, you. Go on. Once you beat Mendoza, by the way, this is Don Diego. He is complete. I was about to say completely easy, but I did die to him, so. But that's all he does. But... <laughs> wow, really? really? Yeah. Alright, that's, I think, uh, that's enough for now. So thank you both for joining me very much. Yeah, of course. No problem. It was really fun. Definitely. Um, If you like, Ike put, or Ike put uh, the link to the game in the. um in the chat if you'd like to give it a shot yourself, and I recommend Loco it. Loco Malito. Loco Malito. Not PHP, what? I thought that Not was like PHP. a... There you go. Hmm. No, this yep. is a browser game. Yeah, it's a hard game to spell, but if you look up, like, Matilda or something wrong, it usually comes up. So that's it, though, Malito. Or you could just go to, like, uh, Smite's Let's Race thread, and it has the thing there. Oh, nice. Maybe... What? Yeah. What is Maldito? I'm, I'm searching to see what Maldito actually means. Oh, curse. It's literally Cursed Castle in Spanish. Yep. Nice. Oh. All right, folks. Uh, I gotta go. So if you have anything you want to plug, please plug it right now. Lost Kingdoms LP on the Something Awful Let's Play forum. Go watch it. 
That's PA Master um, for you. I'm gonna try to speedrun La Mulana in like three hours, so keep an eye on the Let's Stream thread and I'll be posting that. Alright, cool. I'm gonna, and I'll plug myself here, I'm gonna try to stream this game again tonight, unless uh, B just wants to do Rex Prey or some other bullshit happens, but. <laughs> Alright, later, folks. Next later, time, guys. Thanks for watching.